Hello and welcome to this exciting new slide design lesson. I will teach you how to properly work with images, how to use our shape tools to chop up images and place them into our slide composition. I go to PowerPoint, I have a new presentation opened and I have three text boxes. This will be the core for our slide. Now for the font, this time I've used the Lato font. Lato is a really great font, once you install it, you should have here in PowerPoint several fonts with the Leto to select, for example, hairline, light, heavy, and Leto font can be downloaded from www.letofont.com. A really simple website which allows you to download a current version of this font. So at first I want to select a dark background. I was thinking something blue, gray, something like over those colors. So I'll try to select an interesting color, something maybe a bit darker. I can go here, nudge it a bit. And I think this would be a good base, a good color for our background. Something grayish blue, navy, like this. Now I'll select those two fonts and make them white. So they are better visible. Or to be honest, if I see it now, this perhaps should be a bit more gray, so like the title stands a little bit more out. Now this color should set the tone of our contrast color. I'll select a green color or a blue color, it all depends what you want to achieve, but since I'm very often going for blue, let me take a different approach and maybe even go yellow or, or this green one. This should be fine, maybe a bit darker or something more olive like this. Yep, I like this color. Well, maybe it doesn't look as good now, but we'll see in a moment. Now, how to work properly with some interesting designs and pictures. I'll go to insert, I go to shapes, and I select the shape tool. I'll select my rounded rectangle and place the first object here. Now, I want to make the corners very rounded. So you can take this yellow dot and just click on it and go to the right side, so it gets more rounded. You can adjust it like this. Now this is my first object. I'll rotate it. If you don't know how to rotate, you can click on this one and rotate it around, or you can go to the shape options, I believe these options, position, or no, they are in the size, and we have the rotation in degrees, if you want to be 100% precise. Okay, I have my first object, maybe I make it a bit smaller, bigger here, and this object, the first object, should have the same color as the text, because those two objects will set the tone and the coloristic of the entire slide. Now, I already see I don't like this green as much, so let me try to select something else. So I go again to custom, I go to the green colors, and I try to select a more washed out color, something maybe closer to gray, um, like this. I'll try how this looks. Now I see I'm perfect. Instead of making text fill, I made shape fill. Ctrl Z, but I have this color already here. I click on it. I click on it here. Well, perhaps this will work. Now I can work on other objects. I want to copy the first object, place it around here. I will try to make equal spaces. Next object, this will be bigger, maybe even longer. I can simply extend it, this is no problem. Like this, a bit to the top. I see they should be more rotated, but that's okay. I copy one more object, I make it even wider. I see this goes too far, I try to place them right. Now I select all of them and I'll try somehow to align them. I'll try to make equal spaces and I believe this is all right. I select the first three objects, I right click on them, group and I group them. It's very important to have them grouped. I'll show you why in a moment. Now I go to picture or texture fill. I select file and from my new project files, I select city photo. Now this photograph filled out those objects. If they would be ungrouped, each one would be filled with this image, and this would look horrible, but if they are grouped, 
this looks like that. Now I see this will look better if I will maybe have even more objects like this. Now let me preview this slide. Now I see I need to make a few adjustments before I'm ready. So bear with me, I'll try to resize and reshape everything to make it look a bit better. Okay, I have it prepared. I select all four of these. Group, group. I have my current group. I right click format picture. I select the bucket, picture or texture fill. It will fill automatically. This is how I would leave this slide. If you want to be a little bit more fancy, I go to shapes. I place a new shape, no outline, eyedropper, and I make this filling to make it exactly like the background. And I'll try to cut out this place and this place to make it even more appealing. Control C, rotate it, hold the shift key. Now watch what happens when I play the slide. This is the end result and it all depends on what picture you select, but we created a nice border we entered the picture and we have some small text on the left side. Maybe the picture should be a bit more colorful, but this is one way of approaching a nice slide design. If you would like to design more slides like that and be better with PowerPoint, you can find the link to my course in the description below with a heavy discount only for YouTube viewers who see this video. My name is Andrzej Pach and this was a slide design tutorial on how to approach a slide design with some images and text in it.